Hey there, everyone. This is Al Cow playing Toho. That's the name. It's the correct pronunciation. Kind of gearing up for a hard time here. This is the stage five. Historically, by far the hardest fight of the bunch. I am expecting to spend an hour plus here. Using Kanako to fight a bird is gonna be a crow or a chicken. Well, I got my answer here. It's gonna be a chicken. So we're back at the old waterfall. Yeah, because the reactor's flooded. I could have deduced that if I actually thought. <laughs> How is this fight gonna go? Amazing. Yeah, honestly. It looks pretty rad, too. Yeah, I... <laughs> I don't know why, my head can is that they drilled a hole in the ocean or something, which sounds like a terrible idea, but... Feels like people have terrible ideas all the time in Gensokyo. Oh, even more water. Is there anyone that can create water? Uh-oh, it's a chicken! Uh, mm-hmm. You were said that line before, to a witch. Kutaka Niwatari, they never met. Whoa, pee! As a sound, her whistles do. Uh, yeah, your Niwatari Jin. Hmm. Yeah, so mountain god meets chicken god. Yeah, so apparently she's not just a yokai, but an actual god, a god of feral chicken. That's pretty rad. Ah. Uh. Oh, really? The Sanzu's infinite. I wouldn't have thought that. Uh. Also, I guess she doesn't know that Kanako's hanging out all the time in hell, apparently, if she operates a nuclear reactor there. Why do you need a reactor, anyway? Alright, well, we're fighting now. So, how will Plan just hang out above this individual all day long? And, uh, just kind of hope for the best. So, I think I need, like, yes, my... My, uh, I need my stamina to... To get better. Alright, so I am actually going to take the time to land a little bit. So I'm not going my normal, like, full super aggro that I tend to do here. Oh, wait, so I, okay, I see, and I, I mean, it might be going good. So, okay, so, oh, hey, look at that! They fixed her speech, so they just kind of left it in Japanese, which honestly. Yeah, like I appreciate the thoughts of changing it into trying to change it to Baka, but uh, it being in Japanese symbols like that just looks a lot better. Uh oh, yeah, well, we're falling, we're falling with the water. I found the most loathsome Ben Hill of all. Yeah, the, the Blood Sutra or something. I don't know, I was paying attention it is my forte. I kind of forget what you do. So there you just kind of- Oh, it's a ghost party, right. Right, uh... Man, you're kind of annoying to get above, though, here, this chicken. So apparently you're supposed to hold the button to get, like, good blast from that, which is something I just never do. I'm not a, a good button holder. Okay, so just trying to maintain the offense. There we go. Uh, fourth phase already, the one where you kind of like cover yourselves with ghosts, right? Yeah, I remember that. Whoops. I mean, I'm doing damage. Whoops. But, oh, hey, okay. This went pretty well, to be fair. Okay. There we go. No damage on the first first run is a good start. Right, so you know that yeah, she's gonna baka. And you can't you can't go through bakas. You know what? No, that was smart to leave the baka in Japanese though, because like every other symbol in the game Like they've left in Japan in Japanese, like the you can go through this, the blooms, the, like, all of that are unchanged, so it's... Why? Oh, I'm pressing the wrong button. I was pressing flight, you know, instead of attack. 
And I was wondering why my giant tree trunks weren't falling from the heavens. Uh, well, you got it. Jesus, hell, chicken! Conoco's gonna have a lovely dinner tonight. Alright, so now, no, again, I'm doing the same thing here. I don't know why I'm having that issue. It's just kind of strange. Look at that. Oh, no! You're so per- This is such a perfect angle for this anti-air. Oh, that was sad. Oh, there's your last phase, though, that I cheesed that one time. So, I don't even know, like, everything that it involves. All I know is that you have no defense for me, just doing the usual. What, what here at Kanako Court, we just call the huge. We just go here and attack. You know what? Does she have any aspect of that that's unglidable through? I don't know, but you can't fly through wood! This is fascinating to me. That, um... Different bosses will have different... You know, effects on different player character. Once I understood how to use Kanako, like, this lady is an absolute monster, which I think speaks a lot as her abilities as a Toho. Yeah, former Hell Blood Pools. Ugh, that's so gross to think about. And then think about it, Kanako's saying all that while spinning around furiously with half her body off the screen. Also, I was mistaken when I said that she had a beef with Byakuren. I mean, they're they're all like rival religious figures, but they're just normal business rivals, but not like blood feud or anything. I misspoke! My knowledge of Toho is less than perfect. Especially the deeper in the games we get. Uh, later game? I don't know, man. Oh, don't worry, my conviction is fully hearted. Now, what I do wonder is, do you think they will have modified the Yuma, uh, Yuma encounter any? Because if we consider Remu and Marissa to be Act 1, and now in Act 2, I think they have to change her fight, right? The fight you're guaranteed to play with everyone, like at some point they are going to. Well, I guess we'll see. We will see.